the Astins of West Hill. Fashions change towards the end of the war and heavy corduroys and moleskins became less popular. Local firms started to trade instead in, in flannels and derby tweeds and some even began to produce boiler suits and overalls made of lightweight cottons. The Astins Mill, which once stood where the medical centre now is, on Valley Road, before the war traded exclusively in snug fit trousers, but after began to tailor gentlemen's suits, swatches of which were found quite recently in the attic bedroom of number one West Hill by the current owners, not long after they bought the property back in 2015 from Brenda Astin. Turns out that Brenda Astin is the wife of one of the Astin brothers' sons. And so, until that time, the whole of West Hill had been in the Astin family for over a hundred years. Brenda confided to the current owners that it was when the Astin brothers' beloved racehorse Snugfit won them a small fortune that they bought up the whole row of houses at West Hill, so they could observe the comings and goings in the town centre, check out the competition, and who was late for work. This seems almost impossible now, as the view has been long since blocked by Marco's Pizza Place, Tia Greyhound Rescue, Hebden Bridge Therapy Centre, and the like. Back in 1911, standing up there, you can imagine, it was quite a vantage point. The houses at West Hill got smaller from one end of the row to the other, and as number four is still to this day intact with service bells, it would suggest that it was here where the Astings housed the domestic staff. Whole families were also boarded in the basement of each of the houses at West Hill and recently in the basement of number one a Victorian rocking potty was found by the current owners moving of its own volition. Wisely the owners decided not to keep the potty on their premises and are seeking to have it exhibited soon at Hepton Stone Museum. <laughs>